I remember back in the day, like I wasn't a very good student in college. I was gonna fail one of my courses. One of my teachers were like, there's like 1% chance that you're actually gonna pass this class. My fear was like, if I fall behind, I'm gonna end up disappointing my parents at that time. I'm an immigrant and I came here from Egypt like when I was 13. And one of the things that they really hated like that for me to not be successful. He was like, you, you gotta get 95% on your final exam in order for you to pass my class. That kind of, kind of crushed me and I'm like, I'm gonna prove this guy wrong. And I ended up actually going through with it and I ended up getting 96% just to, to pass that class. The broker didn't want to get me onboarded because I had another job. She stood in my way and she was like, you're not going to produce anything. We don't want people that are not going to close anything in our brokerage and I'm not going to get you on board. And I'm like, what if I can tell you that I'm going to close more deals than your average agent in your office? And she was like, well, I want you to show me, show me how that you could do it. My first year I did, I closed 10 deals. Their average agent does four to six deals. While I was working another job, it was a commute that was an hour and 40 minutes each way. I was coming home at 6 p.m. Um, and then I, I came back and I did that. So think of something in your life or somebody that told you you couldn't do something. Like, why are you doing this right now? Why are you even in the business? And what is the main reason that is going to get you there? And that's what we're talking about. Having an enemy, it could be a person or it could be something, to fuel you to be able to succeed more.